harsh on the man of God. Stand on me, I was not myself that day. Level change. Touch is one of the five senses. We have the sense of sight, the sense of hearing, the sense of smell, the sense of taste, and the sense of touch. Touch is generally having a bearing with something or somebody by contact or communication with the intention of getting a result intentionally or otherwise physically or spiritually. Papa came into my dream. He came and said, come here, this is not planus. Come, let me deliver you. He touched me, I fell down. Ushers brought me up, he touched me again. The third one, I jumped up from my bed, physical. Touch comes in various types. We have the human touch, satanic touch, and divine touch. Divine touch is the Lord's. It is the touch that sets free. It is the touch that produces changes. Transforming changes, a touch of God's glory, the fire, favor, and power of God. Several people were touched in the biblical days. Daniel was touched in Daniel 10 verse 18. There came again and touched me by the appearance of a man, and he strengthened me. Daniel was strengthened after he received the divine touch of God. Jeremiah also received the touch from God that changed his life in Jeremiah 1 verse 9. Then the Lord reached out his hands and touched my mouth and said to me, I have put my words in your mouth. Jeremiah received a call from God after that divine touch. Even the woman with the issue of blood received the touch from God in Matthew 9 verse 20 to 21. And behold, the woman which was diseased with the issue of blood 12 years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment, for she said within herself, if I may but touch his garments, I will be made whole. She received healing after the divine touch. The touch of God. Through the hand of Senator Prophet Jeremiah want to fame, gets the touch to your life. Through God's mighty power. It is the finger of God. It is real and undeniable. Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufuwe is a divine eye attention and any negative situation that come in contact with him experience a positive turnaround. If electric touch your ear, electric shock, what will happen to your body? My hands are more than electric shock. When they are touched, they receive from the man of God. I want to tell you why my aunt is about to touch you. That touch brings you up to speed with a new level of strength and more. The divine touch heals, strengthens, energizes, and transforms that individual to a higher grace that transcends all facets of life to God's glory. It brings both blessings and favor. Hey, you, you, come down, come down. What do you want me to do for you? Ah! Oh! I will give you five million naira. Ah! People yearn to be touched. Just a touch, just one touch, settles it. After the divine touch, oh my God, I can assure you since February 26, 2018, till now, I have not tested this drug. I was opportuned to be brought out by Papa, Prophet Jeremiah Motufufuin. 
And the problem that took me there is the problem of sickle cell anemia. I've been suffering from it ever since childbirth. But that day, I was very fortunate when Papa called me out and he laid his hands on me. And he asked me a question, is sickle cell in the Bible? I said, no. And he said, you are healed in Jesus' name. And uh, I met the man of God one-on-one, -on -one, just a touch from the man of God, Prophet Jeremiah Motofofoe. As I went back, they now gave me my appointment later. I decided to join the uh, partner. So I went and joined the partner there. And our daddy, the Lord, touched me. Just one touch. He changed a lot of things in my life. So our papa touched me and this baby entered. When papa touched me, love will change. Tell papa touched me. I started seeing visions, mentioning people's names, their birthdays. The power of God is also demonstrated with anointing oil that breaks the yoke. That makes the difference. With a touch, your spirit is stirred up, an indication that the Spirit of God is working in you. The divine touch makes you transformed. It gives you an experience. Until God touches you, you cannot have an experience. No one comes in contact with that divine touch and remains the same. Today, before, I used to do fasting and prayer, praying for customer to come, but now, I don't look for customer. Customer is the one looking for me. If you are called, anything about you is a miracle. That is a virtue that Senior Prophet Jeremiah Motofufuyi has that functions with him. That is why today, even by touching the screen of your TV set, you are healed, delivered, transformed by the extension of grace. I was having challenges of leg pain for more than four years. The man of God came to Lokoja. I wasn't there, but he measured my case. He said, anywhere that is paining you, you should place your hand on it. Then I put my hand on my leg. The second one to my plasma television when I was watching the television. Uh, television. Then he said, receive your healing, receive your healing three times. And it looks as uh, if something went away from my legs. I received my healing instantly. As Papa delivered the, the, the lady like that, me too, I stand up from where I sit down. I use my hand towards the screen. I say, I'm also delivered. That is how I stop the smoke. Whatever situation or circumstances you find yourself in life, the divine touch of God is always available to turn things around positively. Papa prayed for me here and he touched me. When I got back, it didn't take a long time. I had a call from Abuja that my name is among those that have been promoted. I came in with two stars. That two star is assistant superintendent of police. And this one is DSP, Deputy Superintendent of Police. Just one touch. Just one touch. Just one touch. Just a touch settles it all. Good day viewers and welcome to this wonderful program. Today is a very special edition of the program Divine Touch. Today we are going to be speaking to uh, a brother, a brother who came and encountered the God of Senior Prophet Jeremiah Umutu Fufeni after the Divine Touch. My name is Sophia Lloyd and today I have here with me Prophet Farai Gumbo from Zimbabwe. So you're very welcome to the program. Thank you. Okay, sir. So please, you would like to hear from you. What really happened before you came down to Christ's mercy and deliverance ministry? Before God touched you through the man of God, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Mutafi. What was happening in your life before you decided to come here? Before I came here, I, I was suffering. And I was in pain, everything. Even when I try, I would, I, when I tried to do a bi my business, anything, what I was trying to touch, to do, 
uh, I was failed. Okay, so your business was failing. Mm -hmm. What about your ministry, sir? Even my ministry was failing. I was suffering in my ministry again. Okay, so tell us a bit more about your ministry. What were the challenges you were facing? Actually, before I came here, I was facing many challenges in my ministry. Uh, many people, when I tried to deliver people, from nowhere those people were not coming back again. Uh, and uh, even when I heal someone, that person was not healed. Okay, so it's more like you were struggling. Yeah, I was struggling, struggling. to heal people, yes, yes, those who are sick. Okay, what about your, let's talk about the attendance. How was the attendance like? Were they coming or, or people came and then after a while they stopped coming or you did not have members from the beginning? I was, I was here, few members, a few members, almost um, 40, 50, 60 members at that time before I came here. Okay, but they were more than that before the numbers started reducing. Were struggling. Yes, I was struggling in my ministry. Okay. So, sir, how did you get to know about Senior Prophet Jeremiah Mutufufei? Uh, actually, I saw when I was, when I was uh, watching TV, uh, I saw uh, in channels, I see Mess TV. Me, I was like, uh, I like gospel, gospel channels. So, I see oh, this is Mess TV. Let me see. Let me see. So since that day. Okay, that was how you got to know about Yes, the yes. Now. You decided to come? Yes, to I decided, yes, I decided to come here to see uh, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omotu Fefe. Okay, sir. So let us talk about you coming here. When you came here, what happened? Uh, when I came here, August last year, my ministry started to, people started to come, but not too much. Okay. Uh, then October, and December, uh, but not, I was not performing in healing, deliverance, but uh, after the program of who ordained you, June, uh, when Papa touched me, uh, my ministry started to move on and uh, start to see the power of God. Okay, sir. So you came for who ordained you and Papa touched you. The other times you came, you were unable to meet with the man of God? Yeah, it was not easy to meet with the man of God. Okay, so the times you came, you were not able to meet with him? Yes. Okay, but when you came for the program, for the program. who ordained you, Papa touched you? Yes, yes. Okay, sir. So tell us what happened when Papa touched you? After Papa touched me, when I go back to my country, to my, my, to my church, um, First two weeks, I see uh, the power of God. God, start, God started to use me, spiritually, physically, through that touch. Just a touch, everything changed. Everything. Even my life, even my ministry, even people in my ministry, that changed. Okay, what about your business? Now you said you were struggling in your business and your ministry. Yes. What about your business? Uh, after, after that touch, I stopped, uh, stopped uh, business. business. Then I concentrated to focus, uh, to okay. focus in a ministry. Okay. So now uh, my ministry is moving like, like water. Yeah. Mm, like water. People that are coming. I'm starting to work from 6 from 6 a.m. until 1 a.m. morning. Wow. Since morning, no time to rest, no time to eat. And uh, all those who are sick, they the, uh, the get their healing. Okay, but you know, something was happening to you before. Before that touch, you said that people come, they don't stay, they go. Yes. After you pray for them, they go. After the touch, what about now? After that touch, after after that touch, when you touch one person, that person brings more more than three, four, five people. Wow, wow! So the ministry is growing. It's growing. Yes. Truly okay. speaking, 
And the ministry is gone. Okay, then you also said you were you were struggling to um, perform healing. Yes. Tell us about the changes now. Now, when I touch those who are sick, uh, within two three weeks, they get, get, fine yeah, they are fine. Yeah, so you are recording testimonies. Yes, now. I recorded a testimony. I gave it testimony like um, one of the guys uh, have a problem. It's like cancer in his leg since 1991 uh, until August. So I meet with him July, 24 July. 24 July. So only a month, only a month, that man is healed. Wow, hallelujah. So almost 20 something years. So these are some of the changes you have experienced since Papa touched you. Yes, some of the things are changing in my life. Okay, yes, yes. So tell us more about the testimonies on yourself because now the touch came to you and it is even spreading to others because now your members come and they are receiving their testimonies. What about you personally? What has that touch done aside your ministry? What has that touch yielded in your life? I Me, mean, myself, my life has changed totally, 100%. Because before, I was, I was struggling to pay rents. I, um, I, I was suffering with my family. We, we was using uh, public transport to our church, to go into church. But after Papa touched me, Someone buying for buy for me a uh, Miss Benz Benz. Wow! Uh, buying for me a Benz. So that's that's one of the things that have started happening. Yes. Wow! Hallelujah. Okay, sir. So now you have told us your testimony as to what has happened after that divine touch, after that wonderful encounter with the man of God, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Motufefei. What is your advice? to viewers that are watching you, your fellow ministers, and even non-ministers who are wondering. My advice to viewers all over the world, those who are watching me, whether you're a businessman, uh, you're a businesswoman, you're a pastor, or uh, you're, a, you're a contractor, I want you to come and experience uh, just a touch from our senior prophet Jeremiah. Just a touch, your, your story will change like me. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. We thank God for these wonderful changes that have started in your life after that divine touch. Indeed, our God is faithful. So viewers all over the world, wherever you are watching us from, like uh, the prophet here has said come and experience that one touch that one touch that will change your life come and experience that life changing touch and remember that your life will never ever remain the same because that touch will bring changes to your life that touch will transform your life remember that the man of God senior prophet Jeremiah Motufei is available so all you have to do is come and your life will change your story will change as well thank you so much for joining us on this special edition of the program the divine touch thank you sir for coming to share your wonderful testimony yeah. with us you're welcome thank you very much until we meet next time this is the program the divine touch touch on the man of god I was not myself that day. Love will change. Touch is one of the five senses. We have the sense of sight, the sense of hearing,
the sense of smell, the sense of taste, and the sense of touch. Touch is generally having a bearing with something or somebody by contact or communication with the intention of getting a result intentionally or otherwise physically or spiritually. Papa came into my dream. He came and said, come here, this is not planus. Come, let me deliver you. He touched me, I fell down. Ushers brought me up, he touched me again. The third one, I jumped up from my bed, physical. Touch comes in various types. We have the human touch, satanic touch, and divine touch. Divine touch is the Lord's. It is the touch that sets free. It is the touch that produces changes. Transforming changes. A touch of God's glory. The fire, favor, and power of God. Several people were touched in the biblical days. Daniel was touched in Daniel 10 verse 18. They came again and touched me by the appearance of a man and he strengthened me. Daniel was strengthened after he received the divine touch of God. Jeremiah also received the touch from God that changed his life in Jeremiah 1 verse 9. Then the Lord reached out his hands and touched my mouth and said to me, I have put my words in your mouth. Jeremiah received a call from God after that divine touch. Even the woman with the issue of blood received the touch from God in Matthew 9 verse 20 to 21. And behold, the woman which was diseased with the issue of blood 12 years came behind him and touched the hem of his garments. For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garments, I will be made whole. She received healing after the divine touch. The touch of God. Throw in the hand of Senator Prophet Jeremiah and to fame gets the touch to your life through God's mighty power. It is the finger of God. It is real and undeniable. Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omoto for Fame is a divine eye attention and any negative situation that come in contact with him experience a positive turnaround. If electric touch your ear, electric shock, what will happen to your body? My hands are more than electric chalk. When they are touched, they receive from the man of God. I want to tell you why my aunt is about to touch you. That touch brings you up to speed with a new level of strength and more. The divine touch heals, strengthens, energizes, and transforms that individual to a higher grace that transcends all facets of life to God's glory. It brings both blessings and favor. Hey, you, you, come down, come down. What do you want me to do for you? Ah! Oh! I will give you five million naira. Ah! People yearn to be touched. Just a touch, just one touch, settles it. After the divine touch, oh my God, I can assure you since February 26th, 2018 till now, I have not tested this drug. I was opportuned to be brought out by Papa, Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufuyi. And the problem that took me there is the problem of sickle cell anemia. I've been suffering from it ever since childbirth. But that day, I was very fortunate when Papa called me out and he laid his hands on me. And he asked me a question, is sickle cell in the Bible? I said no. And he said, you are healed in Jesus' name. And uh, I met the man of God one-on-one, -on -one, just a touch from the man of God, Prophet Jeremiah Moto Fofoe. As I went back, they now gave me my appointment later. I decided to join the uh, partner. So I went and joined the partner there. And our daddy, the Lord, touched me. 
Just one touch, it changed a lot of things in my life. So our papa touched me and this baby entered. When papa touched me, love will change. Tell papa touched me. I started seeing visions, mentioning people's names, their birthdays. The power of God is also the one strengthened with anointing oil that breaks the yoke. That makes the difference. With a touch, your spirit is stirred up, an indication that the Spirit of God is working in you. The divine touch makes you transformed. It gives you an experience. Until God touches you, you cannot have an experience. No one comes in contact with that divine touch and remains the same. Today, before, I used to do fasting and prayer, praying for customer to come, but now, I don't look for customer. Customer is there, the one looking for me. If you are called, anything about you is a miracle. That is a virtue that Senior Prophet Jeremiah Motofufuyi has that functions with him. That is why today, even by touching the screen of your TV set, you are healed, delivered, transformed by the extension of grace. I was having challenges of leg pain for more than four years. The man of God came to Lokoja. I wasn't there, but he measured my case. He said, anywhere that is paining you, you should place your hand on it. Then I close my hand on my leg. The second one to my plasma television, when I was watching the television. Uh, television. Then he said, receive your healing, receive your healing three times. And it looks as uh, if something went away from my leg. I received my healing instantly. As Papa delivered the, the, the lady like that, me too, I stand up from where I sit down. I use my hand towards the screen. I say, I'm also delivered. That is how I stop this move. Whatever situation or circumstances you find yourself in life, the divine touch of God is always available to turn things around positively. Papa prayed for me here and he touched me. When I got back, it didn't take a long time. I had a call from Abuja that my name is among those that have been promoted. I came in with two star. That two star is assistant superintendent of police. And this one is DSP, deputy superintendent of police. Just one touch. Just one touch. Just one touch. Just a touch settles it all.